I'm Laura Waller and I'm a professor at UC Berkeley where I work in the Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences Department uh, and I work on computational imaging mostly for microscopy and phase imaging uh, for biological samples and for industri industrial applications like lithography. Computational imaging is this idea that you should design your optical imaging system and your image processing systems together so that the, best, the things are done best by optics are done by the optics and the things that can be done in computation are done in the computational side. And together the two work to, together to do things that neither could do alone. We measure phase images which is something that is, tends to be invisible in normal images, but with computational imaging we can extract the phase information. Um, and recently we've been working on a microscope that, uh, gets, that we can achieve better resolution than the optical diffraction limit of the objective would allow by taking a bunch of pictures from different angles and stitching them together computationally. Recently we've been working on a new type of microscope that involves changing out the illumination unit with a programmable LED array. So it's a two by two grid of LEDs that we can control at will with just an Arduino or some sort of microcontroller. And by choosing which ones we turn on, we can choose which angles we illuminate the sample with. And uh, we have these neat tricks where by illuminating the sample from lots of different angles, we can stitch together images that have very high resolution across a very large field of view. So we get a large space bandwidth product, which means we have these big images that if you zoom in have very good resolution, up to gigapixel size images. And they also have both amplitude and phase information. And then recently we've worked on extending this to 3D so that we can have this uh, large field of view, high resolution images across multiple depth planes to get 3D information about thick samples. We use very similar techniques in biological microscopy and lithography for phase retrieval. And phase is a really important optical quantity, it's totally fundamental. So there's a lot of different applications for it. And one application we've been pursuing recently is to measure phase defects and edge effects in photolithography masks. So the idea is that a, a, a lithography mask is supposed to just absorb light or um, pass it through, so block it or let it through. But in reality, these masks have to have a certain thickness and diffraction occurs at the edges of these absorbing and clear areas. So that diffraction can cause some phase effects which can destroy the process window by changing how the image uh, focuses through this uh, region that you're trying to print onto the wafer. So what we've been doing is physically measuring these phase edge effects in an attempt to both characterize them and model them in an efficient way so they can be used to make design rules for new masks and in future possibly to design new masks that avoid these problems or at least characterize them well enough to know when they're going to cause you issues in your printing process. Instead of capturing a ton of data and trying to extract the important information, we're trying to look at different ways of computational imaging where you instead try to only capture the important information such that when you capture uh, a reasonable amount of data, it actually represents a very large volume or uh, 2D area of images, in which case you can still operate at your maximum speed of your camera, but be able to reconstruct things that are much larger than the amount of data you actually collected. So a lot of the applications of our work are in biological microscopy, uh, because this is a very big area, but for various different areas of biological microscopy, we work with um, some pathologists who would like to do some very high throughput wide area imaging across like many, many samples as quickly as possible. And we work with neuroscientists who want to do sort of 3D imaging in intact mouse brains um, in order to characterize the brain and just learn how the brain works. So that's much more fundamental science. And then we do some metrology applications. The lithography application is one. Uh, but we have a couple of other metrology applications because this phase imaging that we do is related to surface shape or um, or like uh, surface properties of reflective objects. I started working in optics somewhat randomly. I was an undergraduate student at MIT and I was taking all the signal processing classes and uh, wanted to do a summer internship. So I emailed a lot of professors and an optics professor responded and I worked in that lab for the summer and it was just a really great experience for me. I, I really realized 
how uh, optics was a great way to apply signal processing to real world physical things. And since then I, I got a lot deeper into the, into the optics area and really appreciated this connection between um, si treating optics as uh, an, a system and, tr and doing signals and systems approaches to optical imaging.